For 67 million years, a scene remained locked in stone, a triceratops and what scientists assumed was a juvenile T-Rex frozen in their final deadly encounter. But when researchers finally analyzed the dueling dinosaurs fossil using modern techniques, they discovered that everything we thought we knew about T-Rex growth was wrong. The supposed young giant was actually a completely different species, Nanotyranna swift and agile predator that had been forgotten by science and misidentified for four decades. This creature had been hiding in plain sight, masquerading as a baby T-Rex, while representing an entirely different approach to apex predation. The fossil would become the key to unlocking a mystery that had divided paleontologists for generations. The discovery began in 2006 at Montana's Hell Creek Formation, where fossil hunters uncovered what appeared to be a prehistoric battle frozen in stone. A massive triceratops and a smaller tyrannosaur lay intertwined, their skeletons locked in what seemed like their final moments of combat. The rapid burial that preserved this scene created something extraordinary in paleontology, a complete articulated fossil where both creatures remained exactly as they died 67 million years ago. For decades, scientists had struggled with fragmentary evidence when trying to classify mysterious tyrannosaur specimens. The original 1942 Nanotyrannus specimen, nicknamed Chomper, consisted of only an isolated skull, while other potential examples offered little more than scattered bones and partial remains. These incomplete fossils left too much room for interpretation, allowing the debate over Nanotyrannus to rage without resolution. Previous attempts to settle the question had failed precisely because researchers lacked the comprehensive skeletal data needed to make definitive conclusions about growth patterns and anatomical features. The dueling dinosaur specimen eliminated every excuse for uncertainty. Unlike the broken fragments that had fueled decades of speculation, this fossil preserved complete bone structures, growth patterns, and anatomical details with unprecedented clarity. The articulated position meant researchers could examine limb proportions, vertebral counts, and tooth arrangements exactly as they existed in the living animal. Dr. Lindsay Zano emphasized this advantage when she noted having a 100% complete skeleton provided all the pieces of the puzzle we needed to put this debate to bed. A multi-institutional research team led by Dr. Lindsay Zano from the North Carolina Museum of Natural Sciences and North Carolina State University, along with Dr. James Napoli from Stony Brook University, tackled the specimen using advanced analytical techniques. CT scanning technology revealed internal bone structures that had never been accessible in partial fossils, while histological analysis allowed scientists to examine the uh, microscopic details of bone growth. The team could now apply multiple independent methods to the same specimen, creating converging lines of evidence that would prove impossible to dispute. The legal battle that had kept this fossil locked away finally ended when the Montana Supreme Court ruled that fossils belonged to surface landowners rather than mineral rights holders, establishing a critical legal precedent. The North Carolina Museum of Natural Sciences acquired the specimen for $6 million in 2020, immediately launching the most comprehensive study of Tyrannosaur identity ever undertaken. With the complete skeleton finally accessible, researchers could begin the detailed analysis that would unlock secrets hidden within the bones themselves. Bone histology became the key to unlocking this mystery, a technique that reads the microscopic structure of bones like biological archives. Every year of a dinosaur's life leaves behind a growth ring within its bones, similar to how trees record annual seasons. These rings preserve critical information about age growth rate, and most importantly, whether an animal had reached its full adult size or was still developing. The stakes were enormous. If the Tyrannosaur was a juvenile T-Rex, its bones should display the rapid expanding growth patterns, characteristic of a young animal still increasing in size. The growth rings would be widely spaced and show no signs of the developmental slowdown that marks skeletal maturity. 
However, if this creature were an adult Nanotyrannus, the rings would tell a completely different biological story. Laboratory technicians extracted thin cross-sections from the specimen's limb bones, preparing microscopic slices that revealed the internal architecture built over decades of growth. Under high-powered microscopes, researchers counted each annual growth ring while measuring the spacing between successive layers. The bone sections underwent detailed analysis to distinguish between periods of rapid juvenile expansion and the characteristic patterns of adult development. The results were definitive. The creature had lived approximately 20 years at the time of death with its growth rings displaying the unmistakable signature of skeletal maturity. This full grown dinosaur measured roughly half the length and one tenth the mass of an adult T-Rex. The spacing between the outer growth rings had narrowed dramatically, indicating that bone development had slowed to adult maintenance levels rather than continuing the aggressive expansion of youth. The innermost rings showed the wide spacing of rapid juvenile growth, while the outer rings compressed into the tight bands typical of mature animals. Additional evidence emerged from spinal fusion analysis. The specimen's vertebrae had fused together at multiple locations along the spine, a developmental milestone that occurs exclusively in adult dinosaurs as their skeletal systems reach full maturity. This fusion process represents irreversible biological changes that happen only after growth plates close and adult proportions stabilize. The biological impossibility became undeniable. For Nanotyrannus to have grown into T-Rex proportions, it would have needed to defy everything known about vertebrate growth patterns. Yet the bone evidence revealed something even more intriguing than age and maturity. The anatomical features told an even more compelling story of evolutionary specialization. Scientists embarked on a comprehensive comparison of over 200 tyrannosaur fossils to determine which anatomical features remained stable throughout development versus those that transformed with age. The results exposed fundamental biological incompatibilities that made the juvenile T-Rex hypothesis impossible to maintain. The mature Nanotyrannus possessed significantly more teeth than any known T-Rex specimen, including adults, where T-Rex developed massive bone-crushing teeth designed for delivering devastating bite forces, Nanotyrannus retained a higher tooth count with straighter, more chisel-like dental architecture. These teeth were built for quick gripping and slashing rather than the pulverizing attacks that defined T-Rex hunting behavior. The dental morphology revealed a predator that relied on different feeding strategies entirely perfectly suited for an agile hunter that needed to secure prey rapidly. The forelimb proportions provided even more dramatic evidence of anatomical divergence. Nanotyrannus possessed very long arms with a vestigial third finger equipped with large claws that clearly functioned as active hunting tools. These powerful forelimbs contrasted sharply with the famously diminutive two-fingered arms of T-Rex, which had evolved into vestigial appendages with limited functionality. The Nanotyrannus arms suggested active prey capture capabilities that played a central role in its hunting methodology. The creature's tail structure revealed another specialized adaptation for speed and maneuverability. Nanotyrannus possessed fewer tail vertebrae than T-Rex, creating a shorter, more flexible tail that provided different balance characteristics during rapid movement. This anatomical feature supported a hunting style centered on agility rather than the overwhelming force that characterized T-Rex attacks. Advanced CT scanning revealed distinct cranial nerve patterns and sinus structures within the Nanotyrannus skull. These neurological features indicated fundamentally different brain architecture optimized for alternative sensory processing compared to T-Rex. The cranial differences represented early developmental characteristics that become fixed during embryonic growth, meaning they could never transform into T-Rex features through any known vertebrate developmental process. These anatomical specializations confirmed Nanotyrannus as an elite pursuit predator built for speed and tactical hunting. 
The longer legs and lankier build created a swift, maneuverable hunter capable of outpacing both prey and competitors in the late Cretaceous ecosystem. While T. rex relied on massive size and crushing power, Nanotyrannus operated through cunning and agility. The evidence painted a picture of two fundamentally different predators that had somehow been confused for decades. Consolidating the definitive evidence from the dueling dinosaur specimen allowed researchers to re-examine over 200 other tyrannosaur fossils with a fresh perspective. Among these specimens, they identified one that had been previously labeled as a teenage T-Rex, but was structurally related yet distinct from N. lancensis. This discovery revealed a second species within museum collections that had been misidentified for generations, confirming that an entire genus had been hiding in plain sight. The comparative analysis unveiled Entlitheus, a name that carries profound philosophical weight. Lethius references the River Lethe from Greek mythology, the river of forgetfulness that erased memories of past lives. This designation symbolizes how the species had been forgotten in plain sight for decades, lost to scientific memory, despite residing in museum collections. The mythological reference reinforces the academic overthrow at the heart of this discovery, where established assumptions had obscured fundamental truths about tyrannosaur diversity. The implications reached deep into paleontological research foundations. Decades of T-Rex growth models were built on fundamentally flawed data with many specimens used to create developmental timelines actually being mature Nanotyrannus fossils. Entire research frameworks examining T-Rex, behavior growth patterns and ecological roles must now be reconstructed from scratch. Studies that claim to track T-Rex from juvenile to adult were unknowingly documenting two completely different species inhabiting the same ecosystems. The resistance to accepting Nanotyrannus stemmed from deeply ingrained assumptions about T. rex's singular dominance in late Cretaceous ecosystems. The prevailing scientific consensus held that T. rex was the sole apex predator, having outcompeted all other large carnivores. This belief was reinforced by interpreting smaller tyrannosaur fossils as juvenile T. rex, supporting the idea of a single dominant predator reigning without rivals. The discovery transforms our understanding of predator dynamics, revealing a competitive ecosystem where two tyrannosaur lineages coexisted through ecological niche partitioning. While T. rex operated as the king, relying on sheer muscular power and devastating bite force to dominate through overwhelming strength, Nano Tyrannus functioned as an elite commando whose hunting tactics centered on speed and cunning. This specialized predator used agility and tactical precision to access ecological niches unavailable to its massive cousin, creating a dynamic predator guild rather than a simple monarchy. The late Cretaceous landscape, supported a complex ecosystem where assumptions about prehistoric dominance had masked the true nature of ancient competition. The dueling dinosaurs fossil stands as a testament to how scientific truth can emerge from the shadows of assumption, revealing that the late Cretaceous world was far more complex and competitive than we ever imagined. This discovery paints a richer, more competitive picture of the last days of the dinosaurs, where predator diversity was remarkably high rather than declining toward extinction. The confirmation of Nanotyrannus directly challenges theories about ecosystem simplification before the asteroid impact, showing instead that multiple tyrannosaur species thrived in sophisticated predator guilds. This discovery challenges us to question what other prehistoric narratives might be hiding incomplete truths, waiting for the right evidence to set the record straight. How many other misidentified species might be sitting in museum collections mislabeled as juveniles when they represent entirely different evolutionary lineages? The emergence of Nanotyrannus from obscurity reminds us that in both ancient ecosystems and modern science, the smallest details can topple the mightiest assumptions about our planet's most fearsome predators.